welcome Cyclone Fanatics back here for Sitzman's Picks at Mr. B Clothing, 1995 Northwest 86th Street, where, believe it or not, we got the big sidewalk sale coming up. The big tent. Do you call it a sidewalk sale or is it a tent we, sale? We call it a tent sale, but it's okay. out on the sidewalk and under the big top. It is fun okay. time. We have a great time. The, the, you know, the employees are a little more casual. They're having a little fun out there, but you can get things at the lowest prices of the year. I, a lot of selection, and it's fun to be here. I heard that come 4 o'clock, uh, Mr. B serves cocktails. Yeah, everyone too. There's cocktails served somewhere, but probably not at Mr. B's. <laughs> hey, that's it's coming good. up. It's, you got to come and see if you can find yeah, something. We'll stop by. Go be a good time. Love to have you. The 28th, is that when it starts? It's, is that right? it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I think it's 28th, 29th, and 30th. Big, big shout-out, too. Uh, it's talking to Jane. Via email last week, oh, we had a cyclone fanatic come in and buy a suit here. We about did, a month and ago. He, you know, he even recognized me. I was kind of scared about that, yes. but what a deal it was! And you, it was a good shout out. Loved, loved our program, and it was good to have him buy a suit. He looked great in it too, by the way. Good. All right. Well, Tim has the Cyclones at two and one, escaping the non-conference with wins over UConn and Northern Iowa. He did pick Iowa. Uh, the pesky Hawkeyes to beat the Cyclones. I had a three-point win, if I were It was a close game. But right. They're always close. They're always good games. Now we get into the thick of things. The Big 12 Conference season rolls along. Texas Longhorns come to town on October 1st, 30 days shy of Juan Hallow's Eve. Tim, will Iowa State upset Texas for the second year in a row? You know, th this is this is big, and, and I, I'm going to do a little history. We had uh, We had Iowa State going on the road and beating Nebraska a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. Last year we had them at home. Let's just say we should we had that game. We should okay. we should have come out with a victory. Mm -hmm. We're two and one in my picks right now, Chris. And I I look for this to be, you know, a week ago we read in the paper where they had Iowa State down as far as you know maybe second from the bottom, beating out Kansas yeah. from the bottom. Mm -hmm. This is when I th I think they show that the papers are wrong. I think we're going to upset uh, we're going to upset the, the the horns. Put the women and children I, to bed, Cyclone I think I think we're going to see a game. Woo! I think they came out of the UConn game with a lot of strength. I think they've got the offense going. they, they got a quarterback that's happening. And I, I think we're going to see a close, very, very close game. It's going to be not not what we saw down in, in, uh, in Arlington where they kind of they kind of handled them mm -hmm. last year. But I, I think it's we're going to need some breaks, but I think we're going to get the breaks and we're going to win a close one. I'm anxious. You know, next week I'm going down to Dallas for the Big 12 football media days i want to talk to some texas players i mean i'm i'm excited to write this story i want to see how much like redemption's on their mind right. not necessarily with iowa state but with ucla with with some of those teams that really just went right. into austin and just punked them last right year. at home i want to know how much that's going to factor into the way that they play this year right. you know that'll be an interesting aspect of this football game as well i think you're on to something where you point out the Nebraska game last year, that uh, I think I would say it was a 17-point underdog Absolutely. going into that game. Of course, in 2009, you go on the road and beat Nebraska. 2010, a shocker. you, you go shocker. on the road and beat Texas. Right. Paul Rhodes has established one thing for sure. He can play with anybody. And, yeah, and, and you darn well better show up when you play Iowa right. State. And now, of course, there were the Oklahoma games right. from last year where they, where they didn't show up. Right. But on any given Saturday, a Paul Rhodes team can – Jump up and bite you. I think Tim, you know, I'm not, I'm not making my pick on this one yet. I know. Hold but on. But I think you might be onto something. If if it's gonna happen on this schedule, when I look it up and down, this might be the one where Iowa State does shock everybody. It could be the this, case. This is the one I, I thought would would set the stage for the season and what that would get us to a bowl game we want to be at. Yeah. And you know, we come out of this three and one. I think I think if we're healthy, if things are going well, we can look for really. Find things down the road. I like your pick because I'm looking for another upset along the way. They're tough. They're going to get tough. Down Texas A&M on October 22nd. I, I don't like that game. Okay, you don't like that no. one. I don't like at Oklahoma. I don't either. I don't like at Missouri. I don't either. Um, Oklahoma State at that Friday night game on November 18th. I don't like that much either. That so one scares me. So I, I think, Tim, you might be onto something. If they're going to pull it off, maybe this is the week. Th this is the upset. We, we could have four or five losses. We're, we're going to have to hold together. But I think we can still come out with a, you know, that that 500 season six six and six or maybe even a seven and four, let's hope. Upset brewing. Yep. For Tim Sitzman here at Mr. B's 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive. Well, come to that tent sale. Uh, yeah. And it's uh, it's outside. I hope the weather's beautiful. Even if it isn't, we have a tent overhead. We can shop and get the best buys of the season. And I'd love to have you here.
Stop on in again. Uh, thanks to that fanatic who came in and bought a suit from yeah, Tim here a couple on, of weeks keep ago. Keep it up. Come and say hello. That's great. Come on in and tell them we sent you a good okay. supporter of the website here. Uh, guys like Tim are why we can bring it to you for free. So come on in and even if you're not going to buy a suit that day, just come on in and thank say him. Say hello. Us. It'd be great. Uh, we'll be back here next week with some more assistance picks. We've got four games in the books. Uh, Tim's got the rest of the season to pick. It should be interesting here as we go down the stretch. I, I want to see how I come out, but I, I got us at uh, at uh, three and one after the four games. So All right. I, I think that's a great start, and I think Paul's ready for a great year. I think most fans would take three and one to start off the year. Thanks, everybody. We yeah. will see you next time.